what's up? It's Fat Boy Dan here. Nothing but redneck fishing all year. Fishing videos with all the beer and fun only at FatBoyDanFishing.com. The place for one of a kind type fishing with Fat Boy Dan from Indiana. You won't miss a thing. The greatest catches and product reviews. Catch them all with Fat Boy Dan Fishing videos. Live to fish, fish to live. It's Fat Boy Dan Fishing. FatBoyDanFishing.com. Today I got up a little bit late. Well, I didn't really get up late, but my kids got school and everything. And I really didn't want to wake my baby girl up, Sandra. You know, she's pregnant and everything. I want her to sleep in. So what I figured I'd do, I had to run to the store anyways today for my kids, right? I want me to get them some candy cane and some goodies to take in for the last day of school before they get to school break. So what I'm doing, I'm going to stop at Wabashiki real quick. I'm going to check myself in. Warming up on a little bit of deer hunting on the screens, you know. Um, I'm going to check in, and then I'm going to drop the kids off at school, and then I'm going to head over here. We already got Hunter John. He's posted in a stand by my stand. We've been seeing a lot of deer tra travel through there like crazy. So me and Big Mike's going to basically push this area that we know how to push. You know, Wabashiki, you're probably thinking, it's, it's 24,000 acres. 2,400 acres, my bad, but actually it's only 1,200 acres, really. I know this land, I know the layout of it. I don't care what the papers say, I know the layout of this land. It's 1,200 right now. But we're going to be pushing one of these front parks. We're going to basically be pushing back towards John. Maybe he's going to get something, maybe he ain't, but in the meantime, I'm going to go check in. Alright, there I am. I'm signed in. Got my tag. Got my card signed in over there. Everything's good to go. We're ready. Got a little bit of snow coming in. Maybe these deer's going to be out and pushing. I can see back here. There's already truck out. But, you know, Hunter John's already out there. Let's go. Let's go kill something. Because if it's brown, it's down. Look, shaking. Look, shaking. All right, well, here we are. We're done with Wabashi this morning. We pushed a little bit. Really didn't see nothing. I don't know what's going on today. A lot of tracks, a lot of fresh tracks. Maybe we was just in the wrong spot or something, but we didn't kick in that route today. So what we're going to do now, we're going to drop the card off, and then we're going to head out to Fairbanks Landing for an evening hunt. Let's go. All right, here we are. We're at Fairbanks Landing now. We're going to sit here. We're going to do a little deer hunt see if we can get something today. All right, here I am. I'm out here hunting at Fairbanks Landing now. I'm going to be hunting this really prime spot I love to hunt. This is a special spot. A lot of people, heck, I don't even see no prints back here. I haven't seen prints here this whole year. And you're probably thinking, well, Brady Plant gets this pressure. Yeah, but you know what? There's certain spots that don't get pressure. People think, hey, that's not a good spot. Well, what I'm going to be hunting today is a funnel area. Back here behind you, there's a little creek runs. It runs back this way. We've got some hills. Dips down to another hill, dips down, dips down, splits up. Everything likes to funnel down to this one little area. So I'm kind of like meet me at the crossroads, you know. So the deer won't be lonely. And I'm going to kill every deer. And I'm going to kill every deer. But uh, this little area right here is like a prime spot. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to climb up my tree stand. I'm going to climb up. I'm going to climb up by, I don't know, by 10, 11, 21 feet, 22 feet. I don't know. But I'm going to get up there a little bit above this big meditation. If that deer comes in today, I got my muzzleloader with me. And I got my muzzleloader and I got my scope. And this baby is on. And I'm going to drop it. But right now, I'm going to quit this talking. And I'm going to hunt. Because these deer's bound to come in behind you. You ain't even looking. You ain't even looking. Look behind you. There's probably deer. There's probably deer behind you. Look, look. I told you to watch behind you for that deer. You missed the deer. Why'd you miss that deer? That deer was right behind you. You should have shot that deer. I'm, I'm telling you, you should have shot that deer. I just got down on my stand now. I told y'all, I told y'all I was going to see deer, and I told you they, they was coming from behind you. So the deer came from behind you. You know, I was worried about about, about shooting a deer 
I'm not really shooting it with the gun. I was worried about shooting it here with the videotape and, and showing you guys the video, saying, hey, here's a video for you guys. You know, if that, that doe was right down here, there was one doe down here, I easily could have shot. She was on the creek, like, she was playing, like, the creek's frozen. She was going to be like Bambi slipping and sliding on ice. And I was thinking, do I really want to shoot her on the ice? Because she, if she goes on the ice, she's going to bust her ass anyways. So I just let it back. I was worried about videotaping on the other deer. And then a buck caught my eye way back to this buck. Was, he was kind of decent. And he was sitting back on that ridge top, and I was like, whoa. He was sitting so far back, he let them does come down. I couldn't even keep track of the does. I mean, there was four, five, six other does. And that buck was just sitting back like he really didn't move. He just stood back on that ravine way up there. What I'm going to do right now, we got the snow. I'm about to get my flashlight out. And I'm about to go up here and see if I can see the deer or anything. I don't know, but let's get the light and let's go. And you know what? Either way, if I didn't get the deer, 2009... Two th or no, this is 2010. What am I thinking? This is 2010. 2010. I had me a great year. I hope you guys had a great year. I'm going to go up there and see if I got something. I don't know. I heard a gunshot back over there. Hopefully Hunter John's got something. Hopefully Big Mike's got something. I don't know. Y'all, let's go see if we got there. Come on. All right, here we are. I did hit it. I fucking hit it. Here's the blood. Here's where it's standing at. There's the blood. There's the blood. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna head my stuff back and I'm gonna get Hunter John, Big Mike, we're gonna come back, we're gonna try that. Yeah, I got it. All right, we went back to the spot where I last seen blood at. When we found that blood, we traveled a little bit farther, seen some more blood, but right there where I shot it at, a piece of bone. I think I might hit ass bone on it or something. As you can see in the clip right there, that video, you can see that the back portion of it was behind the tree. So I went ahead and took a shot at the back portion. I don't know why, but I went ahead and took it anyways. I found a bone. We traveled blood. We walked for, I don't know, about two miles, maybe two and a half. Okay, like in this clip right there, I was talking about how I seen it, how I shot the deer and everything. Well, basically what it was, two other deer came down after you seen them clip of them does that came down. Well, the last big doe stopped. Her head was behind a tree. I decided to take a shot. And she couldn't see me. Well, I took a shot. I did hit her. You're probably wondering about my voice, too. Well, this is the next This is the next night. I did go back out there. We searched for it like crazy. I was trolling a deer cart. I thought I was going to get it up. We found blood. We tracked the blood for a little bit. The blood wind up ending. We kept on some deer prints following it. And we followed it. And we, I'm telling you, we was out there like crazy. We was out there for like an hour and a half, two hours, trying to trail that deer. Well, overall, we never did get that deer. And that's why my voice sounds like it is now. But I thought I recorded the shot. I thought I recorded um, the deer behind there. I'm sorry I didn't, but you know what? Back to the clip. Came the deer cart too at that. But I'm guessing I'm about to call this deer lost. We traveled. We found blood. We lost blood. Couldn't find no more blood. But in the end, I had a good time. Seen deer. And, uh, you know, if that deer winds up dead. I guess the coyotes got to eat too. Y'all. This is my bone for my dear shot. I'm out. Hey, you, what's up? It's Fat Boy Dan here. Nothing but redneck fishing all year. Fishing videos with all the beer and fun only at FatBoyDanFishing.com. The place for one of a kind type fishing with Fat Boy Dan from Indiana. You won't miss a thing. The greatest catches and product reviews. Catch them all with Fat Boy Dan Fishing Videos. Live to fish, fish to live. This Fat Boy Damn Fishing. Fatboydamnfishing.com